Before this video starts, I wanted to inform every single last viewer of this video that I have started a GoFundMe for the Inoue Fulton fight. I'm, I'm trying to go to Japan and, and raise some money and get you guys great content out there in Japan. And I'm gonna try to be out there for at least a month and I'm gonna need you guys' help to get you guys that great content and, and make this thing happen. So uh, if you're interested in helping me with that, the GoFundMe link will be down below in the, des in the description and in the pinned comments. So uh, help me out and help me help you help True School Sports get to the land of the rising sun for Inoue Fulton. It is the road to Japan. So uh, yeah, help me out with that and uh, enjoy the video. It's personal between me and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now... Interesting stuff. I wanted to talk about this fight and highlight this fight because it is a key fight this weekend. It's it's on the undercard of the Amanda Serrano card this Saturday on the zone. I didn't even realize that this fight was happening until just yesterday when my boy Hyro pointed it out to me. So shout out to Hyro. He gets partial credit for this video. But um it's gonna feature two undefeated fighters in that just ex in that extremely loaded 140 pound division. Uh two fighters who are combined 32 and 0. You're gonna have Richardson Hitchens, R Rich Richardson Hitchens versus John Bowser. Great fight. Love this fight. Um, you know, Rich R R R ah, Richardson Hitchens, BT. Sound it out, BT. Slow the hell down. Richardson Hitchens. Get his name right, cause when you when you got a when you got a jab as creme to the creme as top shelf as R Richardson Hitchens, you make sure you get his name right. Richardson Hitchens is taking on John Bowser, you know, and I think it's a fight where it's like you got you got a guy who's a a really, really top technical fighter with a world-class jab that's good enough to win him a lot of fights versus a guy in Bowser who is an explosive, uh, intelligent, come forward pressure fighter. So it's that classic style matchup of the boxer versus the pressure fighter. And I, and I love this fight because both these men right now, they're knocking on the door. Like, I don't think Rich, I, I don't personally, I don't think Hitchens is going to get a title shot next. But he's at that stage of his career where now if he wins this fight, now he's a top 15 ranked fighter in a very loaded weight class. And now you have to really, really start to pay extreme attention to him. I mean, like right now we're paying attention to him, but but, but you have to pay extreme attention to him because now he's in the mix. Being in the mix is a lot and very important in boxing. If your name's in that top 15, it's very important. Bowser's a guy that, you know... I, I've only really only seen him fight once, and that was a couple years ago or whenever he fought... Uh, Whenever he fought Michael Williams Jr., that was a fight where like there was a lot of hype going into the fight. Um, Michael Williams Jr. had built his record up nicely at that time, and 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 and, and that was a step up fight against John Bowser. Bowser, good fighter, you know, in that New York, New Jersey area, and he beat the shit out of Michael Williams Jr. And, you know, hit knocked them all over the ring and dropped them five times, and it was a statement performance from John Bowser. And since that fight, John Bowser has been you know slowly but surely grinding away. And, and, and showing himself to be of, 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 of a good quality in boxing. So this is another chance for John Bowser to fight yet again another undefeated uh, technical fighter in uh, Richardson Hitchens. I, I would definitely say that Hitchens is a, is a better fighter than Michael Williams Jr. There, there's no doubt about that. Hitchens um, has fought better fighters than Michael Williams Jr. Hitchens has a better jab than Michael Williams Jr. Hitchens is a, lot, is a lot more defensively sound than Michael Williams Jr. Zero doubts about it whatsoever. But... um. I'm looking forward to seeing how Hitchens can, um, you know, build off of that last one he had. Because Hitchens was post-fight Montana Love. Uh, Montana Love, unfortunately, didn't do his job and he lost to Stevie Sparks. So, you know, there's a lot of options out there for Hitchens. Right now, as it stands, I want I want to I want to give you guys some clarity as to where, you know, Hitchens stands and where Bowser stands, uh, politically speaking, as far as rankings are concerned. Because right now, as it stands, Hitchens is ranked number 13th in the IBF. And um, that's the only governing body he's ranked in. Uh, neither one is ranked in the other in the top fifteen in the other governing bodies. But they will. Whoever wins this fight will be ranked higher and be ranked in more organizations because this fight is for the IBF, uh, and the IBF North American title, the NABA title. You know, and it's also for the WBC, uh, US NBC title, which will also get a ranking position. So. These guys are going to get ranked whoever wins this fight, and that will position them for, you know, big fights, bigger fights in the weight class moving forward. I mean, if we just look, right, 
if we just look at like the top 15 of the WBC, let's let's say whoever wins this fight gets fight against somebody in the lower top 10 and the lower in the lower top 15 of uh, the WBC. You got names like Richard Comey, uh, Ergashev, Stevie Spark, Adolfo Delgado, Brandon Lee. There is options there, so um, it is of great importance that uh, Hitchens do his thing. And look, I like Hitchens. I think he's definitely improved. You know, he he wasn't a prospect or a contender that I was always high on because, like I said in my last video about him. I had watched Richard. I watched Hitchens fight like three uh, in 2020, right? I think it was 2020 when he fought uh, Arhenius Mendez, and I saw him, and he was he was I you know I wasn't like blown away by him, but in that last fight he had on the on the Montana Love card undercard, I saw a lot of growth. I saw a lot of maturity, and it looked like it looks like that some of the hype that I was hearing from my box people in New York may actually have had some validity to it. So. Um, looking, looking forward to see what he does against, you know, a really, really dangerous fighter in John Bowser. I know Bowser is going to, at some point in the fight, uh, take Hitchens to those deep, dark, uncomfortable places. And it's in, in those moments, it's going to be up to Hitchens to kind of like use that jab, use his skills to, to, to navigate through those nervy moments when, when Bowser does eventually hit him and, um, you know, ask those questions of him. And if he can do that, and if he can show that gumption, if he can show that, um, that, that dog, that the, the boxing IQ to, to navigate those kind of moments in a fight like this against another uh, really good undefeated fighter, then my, my my perspective of Hitchens goes up even higher. So uh, really good fight this weekend. I, I, would, I would even go as far as to say this could be the fight of the card of, of Serrano um, and, and, and Erica Cruz undercard. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Who are you favoring? It's, it's the classic technical boxer versus the explosive pressure fighter, Richardson Hitchens. Versus John Bowser, they're jockeying for position in the in the ranking system at 140, and somebody's O must go, and it must go, it will. So uh, yeah, let me know who you guys are favoring and why. Are you are you going with John Bowser? Are you going with Hitchens? Let me know why in the comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe, and like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on the untouchable True School Sports Empire. For more great boxing content just like this video, click right here and make sure you subscribe. Much love from sunny South Florida.